My name is Paige. I'm a 24-year-old designer. I work remotely from home. Currently, I am living a very fulfilling life. But not too long ago, I had the worst experience of my life. When I was a college student, I used to work part-time at this one company. I met Kevin, who was also working there, and we became a couple. And we even started living together in an apartment. But then, about two years after we started living together, Kevin's attitude towards me started to get worse and worse. One day at night. I'm home. Welcome home! But, hey, it's already one o'clock at night. Lately, you come home a lot at this time, don't you? I made you dinner and I was waiting for you, so you could at least let me know that you're going to be late. Huh? I was in such a good mood until now. You're so annoying every single time. You can't even be thoughtful enough to cheer up your boyfriend who's coming home exhausted from the day. At that time, I was starting to think there was a need to have a discussion with Kevin about whether to break up or not. Kevin used to be so kind. I wonder what happened to him. Then, a few days after that, Kevin came home early, which I thought was rare. But then he headed straight towards the bedroom and he started packing up a suitcase. Welcome home! You're very early today, but wait, are, are you going somewhere? Without thinking, I half-jokingly said, Don't tell me that you cheated on me and got a girl pregnant. <laughs> that wouldn't be a funny joke. I nonchalantly said, but then... That's exactly what happened. That's why I ran home and I'm packing a bag now. <laughs> to my disbelief, that was his direct response. Hey, hey, wh what are you saying? I'll be staying at her house for a while. That girl, she lives with her parents and both of her parents have already agreed to let me stay at their house for a while. What is this guy saying? It was so insane that I was frozen on the spot and at a loss for words, but Kevin grabbed his suitcase and started putting on his shoes at the front door. Hey, you need to wait a minute. I came to and I ran towards the front door, but without turning back once I was desperately calling out for him, Kevin walked out the door. I opened the door and jumped out, but Kevin was already in the elevator and those elevator doors closed in my face. This... This is too much! I don't know how long I was there for. I fell apart on the spot and I was crying when a shadow came into my peripheral vision. When I looked up, a familiar face was standing in front of me. Huh? M Mr. Thomas? This person was Mr. Thomas, who was the manager at the company where I was working part-time as a college student. And this person was Kevin's current boss. Long time no see. I'm so sorry that you had to see me in such an embarrassing state. But also, that is Kevin's lunchbox, isn't it? Yeah, Kevin forgot it at the office. I heard from Kevin that you were making his lunch from every morning. And I figured you would need it, right? I see. Thank you so much for going out of your way. As I received the lunchbox in his hands. What's the matter? Did something happen? At his kind words, I felt my guard go down. From my eyes, large teardrops started overflowing again. Mr. Thomas picked me up, and as I was sobbing, he helped me get back to the front door. I just wanted someone to listen. I sat in the doorway, and I told Mr. Thomas everything that Kevin had done to me. Mr. Thomas sat there in silence as he listened to every word, and after that, he tried to cheer me up. He pulled out a tablet from his bag and showed me videos of cute animals and told me funny stories. But then, suddenly, a phone call came to Mr. Thomas's cell phone. It turned out that he needed to go back to the office due to a work emergency. And after using the restroom at my apartment, he rushed out the front door. But because he ran out in such a rush, he left his tablet behind. He brought me the lunchbox that Kevin had forgotten, and then he forgot his tablet there. <laughs> I couldn't help but giggle at that. When I messaged Mr. Thomas about it, he replied that he would come and get it tomorrow evening. I wanted to hurry up and leave this apartment, but my parents lived far away, and I decided that I would leave this apartment tomorrow after I returned the tablet to him. And then I started packing just in case I send a message to Kevin. I will leave this place tomorrow. 
and I will tell the landlord that we're moving out. Well, of course, I wouldn't get any response anyway. The next day. In the evening, the doorbell rang. So I checked the security screen, and standing there was Kevin, and another familiar face of a woman standing next to him. This girl. Her name was Michelle. A few weeks before I quit my part-time job, she joined as another part-timer. She's the type of girl who changes her attitude between guys and girls to a shocking degree. And in front of guys, she plays the cute, sweet girl. But to the girls, she says things like, ugly pigs and peasants, and I was bullied by her a number of times as well. When I opened the front door, Michelle opened her mouth first. Long time no see! I'm so sorry for, like, stealing Mr. Thomas away from you. She said with a self-satisfied face. Paige, about this apartment, you don't need to talk to the landlord. Michelle and I are going to leave here, so you hurry up and gather your things now. Huh? I really wanted to kick you out sooner so I could leave here with Michelle, but we were splitting the rent, you know? And it was hard for me to pay the full amount. Even though Michelle is the daughter of a wealthy family, as a man, I couldn't ask her parents to pay their rent, could I? But then Michelle's father said that if we were going to get married, then he would hire me as a manager at his company. My salary will increase, so that means you're not needed anymore. As Kevin said that, he pushed me inside and barged into the apartment. Michelle followed behind him, but when she passed by me, she whispered into my ear. I finally got my revenge. Just because Mr. Thomas liked you, you got carried away. Now do you finally understand that I am the one that's above you as a woman? <laughs> oh, I see. This girl. She was jealous that Mr. Thomas and I were so friendly. And in order to get revenge, she stole Kevin away from me. How pathetic! But also, this is the person that Kevin was cheating on me with. Which means there's a high possibility that the pregnancy is a lie. How idiotic. But that being said, I don't care anymore. Before these two boxes got here, I had already finished packing up, and the boxes containing my things were already being sent to my parents' house. Kevin and Michelle sat down on the sofa next to each other and started flirting. Ugh! I want to take a razor and shave off the piling sofa and along with it both of their hair. It's what I wanted to do, but since he was cheating on me with Michelle, I figured that eventually he was going to get what he deserves anyway. I didn't need to dirty my hands for this. I headed towards the front door and I took one step outside, and at that moment... Hey, you forgot something. I didn't realize that Kevin and Michelle were standing behind me, and Kevin shoved Mr. Thomas's tablet towards me. Oh, that's right, that's right. That reminds me, Mr. Thomas is going to be here soon, isn't he? It was in that moment, Michelle suddenly grabbed the tablet from Kevin and she threw it directly at me. Luckily, I dodged it so it didn't hit me anywhere, but the tablet fell on the hallway and stumbled away. On top of that, Michelle put her shoes on and she took her high heels and stomped all over the tablet screen. Hey, th that's... Even Kevin got on board and was smashing the screen with his sneakers. Ugh, it's none of my business what happens to you two next. Ah, that was so refreshing. To tell you the truth, you've been irritating me for a long time. You don't even know how hard it is to be yelled at by your boss, and yet you had a higher salary than me? It wasn't there. You super ugly little slut. You can fall straight to the bottom of hell. The two of them seemed to be enjoying themselves as they destroyed the tablet. They're truly such idiots. That's why I decided to kindly inform them. Y you know that's not mine, right? What? what? As soon as I said that, the two of them froze and stopped moving. That belongs to Mr. Thomas. Wh Wh what? what? The two pieces of crap widened their eyes and screamed. But from down the hallway, I thought I heard some very fast footsteps approaching us. I turned around to see a Mr. Thomas looking like a monster as he ran towards us. Kevin and Michelle panicked and tried to escape into the apartment. But Michelle stepped on Kevin and tripped together. Mr. Thomas, he is still quite young, but in both his personal and professional lives, he does everything thoroughly and without missing any details. And that's exactly why he was promoted to a manager earlier on. 
And when he yells at people who are messing around, he certainly does that thoroughly too. Mr. Thomas stood over the two idiots that had fallen down and started cracking his knuckles. Hey now, you've done something quite interesting here, haven't you? Destroying my tablet like that. Looks like I need to make sure you two understand what happens when you do something like this. Huh? We, 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 are, so we, we are so sorry. The moment Mr. Thomas opened his mouth, Kevin and Michelle got down on their knees and apologized. Mr. Thomas, what an impact. He's so strong. This goes without saying, but I will be taking the cost of damages for the tablet. And also, I'll be taking Paige too. What? what? To Mr. Thomas's sudden words, the two idiots and myself all had our jaws on the floor. And then... Paige, I like you, but you were dating Kevin, so I was going to give up, and I was holding back my feelings. But if I knew this was going to happen, I should have taken you from Kevin a long time ago. What? Wait a minute! Michelle seemed to panic as she stood up. N no! But I like you way more, Mr. Thomas! Wh what did you say? To Michelle's words, this time Kevin also panicked and stood up. M Michelle? What are you saying? When you're pregnant with my child. Huh? Don't get it twisted. Obviously that was a lie. There's no way I would want to have a kid with you. I just wanted to see this woman look upset, that's all. Who would ever want to be with someone like you anyway? Y you're joking. Well then, what about our promise to get married? I was planning on dumping you right before we submitted the marriage certificate. And what about becoming a manager at your father's company? Who knows? My dad may have said that, but I'm not getting married to you, so there's probably no need to make you a manager anymore. No way. But I already submitted my resignation letter. Kevin turned completely pale as he crumbled to his knees on the spot. And then, crying and crawling, he latched onto my ankles. P please, Paige. Please, start over with me. Th this is... it... it is too awful. I had never seen Kevin's face this messed up with tears and snot. It's too hilarious. On the other hand, Michelle had latched onto Mr. Thomas's ankles. You should date me instead of a girl like that. She was desperately begging to Mr. Thomas. But Mr. Thomas didn't even change his expression as he peeled Michelle off of him. I don't find you attractive as a woman or a person, not even one bit. Get lost. And immediately after he said that, he picked me up into his arms. Seeing this in front of them, both Kevin and Michelle scrunched their faces, and with tears in their eyes, they both reached a single arm towards Mr. Thomas and me. Both of you, you better pay a settlement fee to Paige, you hear me? Well then, Paige, let's go for dinner together now. There's a restaurant I go to often that has a beautiful view at night. It's always been my dream to go there with you. What? Um, uh, um, um, I, I, I would love to. While still holding me in his arms, Mr. Thomas headed towards the elevator. As the doors closed, I could hear Kevin and Michelle crying out, Wait! Until the very last moment. After that, apparently, Kevin told the company that he wanted to take back his resignation letter, but he was told that it was too late. That guy, behind my back, turns out he had taken out a loan so that he could send presents to Michelle. In order to pay me the settlement fee, to pay back his debt, and to earn enough to survive, I heard that he's now working from morning until late night without much sleep. As for Michelle, apparently she went crying to her dad to help her pay the settlement fee to me, but instead she was actually kicked out of her family house. When Mr. Thomas went to Michelle's house to collect the cost damages to his tablet, he told her father everything, and that also seemed to be the deciding factor. Also, the reason why the wealthy Princess Michelle was working part-time in the first place was because she was also bullying her family, and her father eventually stopped giving her money. When he kicked her out, her father apparently yelled at her. I thought you were finally going to calm down after getting married, are you kidding me? Then, not long after that, she started a job as a live-in maid. But Michelle had an affair with the director who was married. I heard she was sued by the wife and had to pay another settlement fee. Looks like she was living out of fate, falling to pit bottom. Well then, as for me, I was living in a weekly apartment for a while, but then Mr. Thomas found a really great apartment for me and I decided to move there. I 
after everything that happened, I couldn't think about dating someone again right after all, but Mr. Thomas stayed next to me and he was always thoughtful as he chased me. The other day, the two of us went to the restaurant that he frequents. I had a great time again today. Mr. Thomas, thank you for always inviting me. Me too, but I keep inviting you a lot. Are you sure it's not bothersome? Bothersome? Uh, of course not! Um, that reminds me. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something today. Talk to me? Yes. I really look up to you, Mr. Thomas. And that soft smile that comes across your face when looking at animal videos, I love that a lot. So, if you would still like to date me, I would like to accept. I really like you, Mr. Thomas. R really? Yes! I look forward to being your girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you for watching. What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned.